have is very strict with conservatorship over him, where he doesn't get a choice. He has to take his medicine, he has to live large, say he has to live, he has to comply. Um, I've lived with him for all my life, <laughs> so he's too old. He's very hard to handle. Um, he grew up in that house. My parents brought him um, home every other weekend because when he was 10, he went to Fairview State Hospital. When he was 18, Reagan put them all out in the community. And um, so he's been in a numerous homes, group homes, facilities, different things. And we have not had a good experience of the homes that he's been in, the hospitals that he's been in. The, and the way that they're managed, the way that they're, they take care of him. All right, now I'm trying to find a new home for him because the current group home that he's in uh, is not taking care of his needs, but taking care of staff needs, but it's not a good fit in place. And my concern is that their facility is overwhelming to the neighborhood. It's 36 units in a small area. It's three stories high. It's a giant. Um, we drove around Fullerton, and the only place that's three stories or four stories is downtown Fullerton. It's around other buildings that are like that. We went to their two facilities over in um, Ball Road and on State College, the ones in Anaheim. And they were surrounded by the one on Ball Road was a big major street surrounded by like apartment buildings. That we counted 15 just driving around the neighborhood. Um, it's sections off from 